not pass away I thought you would say amen to that and you know what that means what the Lord is saying is when he speaks the word that the stars will force her to move out of place before that word can be disannulled cancelled reversed or fulfilled that his word is so mighty and powerful that although heaven the sky and the earth may pass away but that word will not pass away or fulfilled that means that as you hear the word today and you receive that word and that word is going to work in your life that every other thing may move out of the way but this word will be fulfilled in your life. It tells us in Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. The supernatural power in his word. Matthew chapter 8. Reading from verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my room, but, 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 speak the word only. Let me wait for a moment. The centurion came for the healing of his servant, and the servant was being tormented. By the devil, by demons. And Jesus did not have to say how many demons. That's not important. Because speak the word only. All the demons, whether they are 1,000 or 10,000, they will flee immediately because of the power in the word of Jesus. And then the man did not have to say, you know, Jesus, this is my servant being tormented of the devil is being like that for seven years for 20 years for 30 years because it doesn't matter seven years 20 years 30 years only a single word from the lord tonight will clear everything away in jesus name he didn't have to say where is this coming from ancestral spirit territorial spirit river spirit Mami water spirit, bush spirit, dark spirit, village spirit. The description did not matter because whether it is from the village or from the forest or from the sea, one word from Christ is enough. And I come to tell you tonight, one word from Christ and you're free. One word from Christ and your brain will come to rest one word from Christ that problem I mean they are long standing everything will go away in Jesus name miracle time has come power time has come supernatural time has come because whatever it is in your life just one word from Christ and thank God you are free speak the word only and my servant shall be healed for i am a man of the authority what kind of authority the authority of the word authority of the word i'm a man under authority having soldiers under me and i say that's the word i say to this man go and he goes and to another come 
and he cometh and to my servant do this and he doeth it when jesus heard it he marveled and said to them that followed verily i say unto you i have not found so great faith no not in israel look at verse 13 and jesus said unto the centurion go thy way as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was and his servant was and his servant was healed when 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 is your own healing when is your own deliverance this same hour it will be done in jesus name let's come back to where we started luke chapter 5 luke chapter 5 i'm reading there from verse 5 luke chapter 5 verse 5 and simon answered and said unto him master we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net at thy word i will you know so they all did a man was lame he had never walked in his life and jesus said stand up on your feet nevertheless i've never walked in my life nevertheless at thy word i will they got up and they began to walk just like the lame are going to walk tonight i said the lame they're going to walk tonight and then some people that they were blind and jesus said receive your sight they've never seen in their lives and then jesus spoke the word and immediately he said that they received their sight just like blind people are going to receive their sight tonight and whatever your infirmity and whatever your sickness whatever your ailment tonight is that night because once you do what he has called you to do nevertheless at thy word i will i will let down the net and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break you see that that's a miracle that's a sign that's a wonder at thy word i will and the miracle happen at, the, at his word you will and your miracle will happen number two the sure promise in his word the sure promise in his word the lord jesus christ has given the promise the promise of salvation what a sure promise the promise of healing what a sure promise the promise of deliverance what a sure promise the promise of peace in your soul peace in your family and peace in your community and peace in your church what a sure promise the lord has given the promise that everything you desire when you pray in his name is going to answer it's going to give you what a sure promise he has given us matthew chapter 11 matthew chapter 11 the sure promise in his word and this is how the miracles happen this is how the signs occur and this is how those wonders will come in your life they have started already i said they have started already they just find that you know the problem that was there before is no more there they just find that you know the pain that was there before is no more there because as the word is coming in power is coming in unto you Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 come unto me all ye that labor and I have been led in and I was the next word will not that I may if I feel good towards you I will I will I will give you rest that's sure that's a certain promise that's a sure promise there's no doubt about that and it's not talking about your feeling it's not talking about how high you are, how low you are. It's not talking about how intelligent or how unintelligent you are. It says, you come, and if you take that step and come unto me, I will give you rest. 
The sinner is restless. The sinner is tormented. There is some rest in the heart, and the mind, in the soul, in the life, in the family of the sinner. But then Jesus said, all that unrest, all that turbulence, all that confusion, all that torment, all that torture, I'm going to take away. All you have to do is get out of that place, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's a sure promise. Verse 29. It says, take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. It says, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Just come to me. Learn of me. Not to have faith in me. You'll find rest to your soul. For starting, for my yoke is easy, and my body is light. It will happen tonight. Matthew chapter 18 verse 19 Matthew 18 we're looking at the sure promise in his word when Jesus gives you his word there's no reason for you to doubt there's no reason for you to doubt because his word is certain his word is sure he is the truth the truth personified the truth, the way, the lie. Look at chapter 18 of Matthew verse 19. It says, And it, again I say unto you, That if two of you shall agree, As touching on earth, As touching anything, That they shall ask, It shall be done for them of my Father, Which is in heaven. Any doubts there? any perhaps there he said if two of you what does that mean the preacher and the hearer the intercessor and the sick the one that is talking to you now and yourself you and i myself and yourself if the two of us shall agree you want healing i want you to be healed you believe in christ i believe in christ you say, if the pastor will pray for me tonight, I know I'm going to be healed. I believe if I'm going to pray for you tonight, you're going to be healed. What that agreement is there between you and I. He says, if any of us, any two of us shall agree, we're in agreement tonight. I said, we're in agreement tonight. You agree with me, I agree with you that your blessing is tonight. You agree with me, I agree with you that your miracle is tonight. You agree with me, I agree with you that your signs, your wonders, they are coming tonight in Jesus' name. Well, look at the assurance and the surety of that promise. It says again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Praise the Lord tonight. I said, praise the Lord tonight. You've got something already in Jesus' name. John chapter 6. John chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 40. John 6 verse 40. A sure promise in His word. John 6 verse 40. And this is the will of Him. That sent me that everyone, how many people? Tell me out loud. Everyone which sees the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. Everyone, everyone that sees the Lord, hears his word, and believes on him. I cannot save myself. Jesus is my Savior. He died for me on the cross of Calvary. His blood will cleanse away and wash away and take away all my sins. The moment I believe that, the moment you believe that, it says, He that believes on me, everyone that believeth on me, will have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. What assurance we have in that promise. John chapter 14. 
John chapter 14. If there's any sin that has been a burden on your heart, giving you condemnation, destroying the peace of your life, the Lord is saying, the moment you look up to Him, the moment you see Him by faith, and the moment you accept His forgiveness, the peace, the joy of salvation, and what he did for you on the cross of Calvary. He said, Lord, I accept that. I claim that. I receive that. My sins are forgiven. He says, that moment you believe. Whatever your feeling may be, it's not by feeling. It's just by saying, Lord, I believe. He says, you have everlasting life, eternal life, salvation. It is yours tonight in Jesus' name. John chapter 14, verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's it. How sure that is. How firm that is. It's a sure foundation. I will do it. He put himself on the line. He has committed himself unto you. And he says, if you will be bold enough to ask, ask for salvation, I will do it. Ask for cleansing, I will do it. Ask for sanctification, I will do it. Ask for that holy heart, purified heart, I will do it. Ask for the power of the Holy Ghost to come upon your life. I will do it. Ask for healing. I will do it. Ask for deliverance that every yoke be broken away from your life. I will do it. Every bad habit totally cancelled, totally taken away. I will do it. The defeat of the past. As for that to be taken away, I will do it. Look at that again, chapter 14, verse 14. If you shall ask anything spiritual, anything material, anything concerning your profession, anything concerning your private life, anything concerning your personal life, if you shall ask anything in my name, tell me the rest. Tell me the rest. Tell me the rest. Let me ask you a question. If you told a friend and you said, ask me for this or this, and then you say, I will do it. You're an honest man, aren't you? I said you're honest, aren't you? Is Jesus honest? Are you more honest than Jesus Christ? You are a dependable person, aren't you? Are you more dependable than Jesus Christ? You are trustworthy, I believe. Are you trustworthy? Are you more trustworthy than Jesus Christ? Well, if you said, I will do it. You really do it. Now Jesus said.